Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how to carry out calculations based on your titration results. Now the easiest way to show you how to do this is to look at some examples, so let's jump straight in. Now before we start, hopefully you can remember the triangle that links moles, volume and concentration which is on the right here. If not, go to the video appearing in the top right and watch that first. So. 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide was titrated against 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. It took 20 centimeters cubed of the acid to neutralize the sodium hydroxide. Calculate the concentration of the hydroxide in moles per decimeter cubed. They also give the balanced equation here, which they will always do for this type of question. So, the way I would always go about this question is to draw a table that looks like this. I would then put in a space for the volume, the concentration and the moles, and then put the two chemicals the question is talking about on the right. The next thing I would do is to put the information in the question into the table. So I have 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide, which I need to convert into decimeters cubed because the answer is in moles per decimeters cubed. So 25 divided by 1000 gives me 0.025 decimeters cubed. I can do the same with the hydrochloric acid, 20 divided by 1000 gives me 0.02 decimeters cubed. And then normally, just for converting from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, you'll get one mark in the exam. So make sure you do that. The other bit of information in the question is the concentration of hydrochloric acid. So I can put 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed in here. Now that all the information is in, I can focus on what I want to find out, which the question says is the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Now at the moment, I only have one piece of info on sodium hydroxide, the volume, so I can't get the concentration just yet. I do, however, have two bits of information on hydrochloric acid, the volume and the concentration. With this, I can work out the moles. From the triangle, you can see that moles is volume times by concentration. So 0.02 decimeters cubed times by 0.2 moles per decimeters cubed, which gives me an answer of 0.004 moles. That would give you your second mark in the question. So we now have the moles for hydrochloric acid, but we need it for sodium hydroxide. And for this question, that's really easy. We have a ratio of one to one between our hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So therefore the moles is the same, 0.004. It can become slightly more complicated when you have a ratio of one to two, for example, and I'll get onto that later. But for now, we now have the volume and the moles of sodium hydroxide. We can therefore work out the concentration, which is moles divided by volume, so 0.004 divided by 0.025 gives me a concentration of 0.16 moles per decimeters cubed, which is our final mark for this question. And that's all that you need to do, provided the ratio is one to one. So what happens if it isn't? Let's have a look at a second question and we'll start by putting the information into the table. This one says 30 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide. So 30 divided by 1000 is 0.03 decimeters cubed was titrated against 0.35 moles per decimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. So I can put that in here. It took 21.4 centimeters cubed of the acid. So 21.4 divided by 1000 is 0.0214 decimeters cubed to neutralize the sodium hydroxide. Calculate the concentration of the hydroxide in moles per decimeters cubed. So to begin with, we do the same. We have the volume and concentration of sulfuric acid. So moles is concentration times by volume, so 0.35 times by 0.0214, giving me 0.00749 moles of sulfuric acid. Now here's the extra step. We have a ratio of one to two between our H2SO4 and our 2NaOH. So whatever the moles of sulfuric acid is, I need to double it. So 0.00749 times by two gives me 0.01498 moles of sodium hydroxide. The rest is exactly the same as before. We now have the volume and the moles of sodium hydroxide. So concentration is moles divided by volume, which is 0.01498 divided by 0.03, giving me a final answer of 0.5 moles per decimeters cubed. Let's go through one final example then, with a slightly different take. So in the question, I've got 15 centimeters cubed of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed magnesium hydroxide. We can add that in straight away. So 15 divided by 1000 gives me 0.015 decimeters cubed, and then I've got 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed for the concentration. I also have 0.25 moles per decimeters cubed of nitric acid, so I can add that in as well. 
Now, the question here is asking for the volume of nitric acid, so slightly different. So let's work it through. I have the volume and concentration of magnesium hydroxide, so we'll start there and we'll work out the moles, which is concentration times volume, 0.2 times 0.015, giving me 0.003 moles of magnesium hydroxide. We now need to work out the moles of nitric acid. We have a ratio of 1 to 2, so I have 1 lot of my 0.03 times by 2, giving me 0.06 moles of nitric acid. We now have the moles and the concentration of nitric acid. So if we look at our triangle, we can work out the volume, which is moles divided by concentration. 0.006 divided by 0.25, which gives 0.024 decimeters cubed for your final answer. That really is everything you need to know for this video. Let's have a look at a few questions then. Have a read through these questions, pause the video and have a go. As soon as you're ready, press play and we'll go through. Right, let's go through. I have NaOH and HCl. Starting off with the info in the question, 25 centimeters cubed gives me 0.025 decimeters cubed of NaOH, and I have a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeters cubed. For HCl, I have 22.85 centimeters cubed, so 0.02285 decimeters cubed. That's gonna get me the first mark for both my volumes. I can now work out the moles of NaOH, which is concentration times by volume, so 0.5 times by 0.025, giving me 0.0125 moles, giving you your second mark. The ratio is one to one, so I also have 0.0125 moles of hydrochloric acid. So the final step is to work out the concentration. All I need to do is divide moles by volume. So 0.0125 divided by 0.02285, giving me an answer of 0.547046 moles per decimeters cubed. Now that gets you the third mark, but don't stop there. The question has asked for the concentration given to three significant figures. A lot of people miss this, don't be one of them. My answer, therefore, is 0.547 moles per decimeter cubed to three significant figures. And that's it. I have got a review question for you, so have a read through, have a go, and let me know your answer in the comments, and I'll tell you if you're right. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.